vitamin b12 deficiency in adult population can be because of various reason the first thing is either there is decreased intake that means in patients who are on strict vegan diet or are vegetarians the other thing is either there is decreased absorption as you have seen in case of chronic gastritis or irritable bowel disease or inflammatory bowel disease autoimmune diseases like pernicious anemia where auto antibodies are produced towards intrinsic factor which leads to decreased absorption of vitamin b12 the clinical manifestations of vitamin b12 are irritability lethargy or hyperpigmentation of the tongue or the hyperpigmentation of hands and legs if there is severe vitamin b12 deficiency it can lead to subacute combined degeneration of the spinal cord which is a very serious condition and it leads to paraplegia which means there is paresthesias in the legs as and in the later condition it can lead to paralysis of both the legs as far as the treatment of vitamin b12 deficiency is concerned we have to bore in mind two things whether the patient is symptomatic or the patient is asymptomatic as far as symptomatic patients are concerned it means that the the hemoglobin level is less than 8 and the patient is having cognitive disorders that means the patient is having numbness and tingling sensation in his hands and legs or the patient is having irritability and in the further stages depression as well as insomnia so for such patients if the vitamin b12 level comes down then how we have to guide them for them the simple formula is that you have to remember is that we have to give them once a week injection of vitamin b12 and that we give for 4 weeks after 4 weeks we again ask the patient to go for a vitamin b12 test and we then reassess the patient now what is new in the market new things in the market are the nasal spray of vitamin b12 if we are using the nasal spray of vitamin b12 the first thing that we have to remember is that it is a costly therapy and the second thing that we have to remember is that is in certain patients it can cause rhinorrhea subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates